Hello, YouTubers. Uh, I just want to present the uh, finished product of Bachman's Birds of the World uh, Motto Kits. Uh, as you can see, this is the finished product. And I must say, this has turned out really, really well. I am really happy the way this turned out. I went ahead and was and uh, used Rust-Oleum 2X flat white for the white base so I can bring out the colors. And then I went ahead and picked up at Walmart uh, the Apple Barrel craft paints over in the Arts and Crafts Department and was able to get all the lovely hues of blue you see here. And basically, let's see if I can point out some for you. All right. As you can see on the head, it's a uh, my own custom mix. I used a little bit of gray and blue uh, for this hue here, right here. And then I went ahead and used a mixture of bright blue and cobalt for this hue. Of course, black and then white. And then I used uh, tan and kind of tan and brown for the acorn nut. And then used a mix my own mixture of black and brown for this part of the acorn nut right here. Hang on, let's see if I can point to it. There we go. Right there. And basically they have you say paint, paint where it's blue, just put blue and then light blue and then etc. Basic colors, but I wanted to go ahead and bring some detail into this. Now if you notice on the wings, on the black, if you see the black right there, basically I've gone ahead and put some cobalt blue underneath. Now I looked at pictures on the internet and the Blue Jays do have that type of type of hue so it brings a nice three-dimensional hue to the wings but only God can only God can produce. <laughs> but I think it turned out quite well. I'm very very happy as well as the tail feathers. And let's go underneath. Basically underneath as you can see it's got various shades of gray, just like the real bird. And there's uh, white. They wanted the uh, Bachman's instructions told wanted you to paint this gray, but again, I reference internet photos, and this is what I just went by. So you can see they're basically white, and then you can see the gray underneath gets a little bit darker as it goes up to its neck. And as you can see on the blue, on the black, they have a little bit of blue right around there as well. Again, referenced by internet photographs. The eye, there we go. The eye was done by painting brown underneath, and then there's a peg that goes into the eye socket. Went ahead and painted that with uh, regular black. And yes, the tongue is gray. I've seen them again on internet photos. But uh, overall, this came out. I think this came out absolutely beautiful. I I couldn't I couldn't be happier. <laughs> This is really, really awesome. Uh, the tree trunk, I pretty much just, I think they're all pretty much generic for what I've seen on um, eBay, on some of the other birds that they have uh, offered, as I mentioned in the previous video. Uh, they're pretty well generic. But what I did was, since the adhesive on this uh, label is so far gone, I went ahead and just glued it on with some model glue. Uh, forgot to mention that this model kit actually comes with two bottles of both I think one I think one bottle is thinner and the other bottle is glue if you want to use it and it did come with some paints but again this being from either built either 19 released in 1959 or 1960 those are pretty much uh, are pretty much gone unusable uh, all the fluid from the bottles I think of either uh, Evaporated because they haven't apparently haven't been used. But uh, again, I went ahead and uh, very happy the way this came out. Uh, the gray is not supposed to have that sh uh, satin sheen to it. I thought I was getting um, flat or the matte, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it. I think it'll be fine. Give a little bit of some, give a little, little bit of character. I think um, the blue. 
like I said with the blue here they wanted you to paint it basic but I wanted to give it something and uh, again this I believe this this came out really really well and yeah here's the other side uh, but and this is life size this isn't just some weird scale or anything this is one to one scale so the way you see here this is how big this is how big the bird really is and they have others I forgot to mention I think I may have mentioned others too um, so if you're interested in something like this check them out on uh, check it out on eBay um, they've got them they've got got some on there that haven't been built yet so and that's where I got this from and it was unbuilt as you saw in the other previous video so anyway I decided to uh, go ahead and do a video of the finished product so anyway you guys thanks for watching you take care and God bless